hello guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be showing you guys how i make my frijoles in a crock pot it's super easy super simple and they always come out so good please bear with me i actually broke my tripod today i don't know how this is barely the second time i use it so i'm gonna have to be holding phone or propping it up somewhere to record this video so i'm so sorry if the quality is not as good but i hope you all still enjoy also please excuse my hair i'm a mom of two so i'm sure all you moms out there can relate it was just one of those days this is a crock pot that i use nothing super fancy i'm going to be using pinto beans where i live they only sell them in these bags like at walmart back home in el paso they have them like in the bins at the supermarkets where you could like get them by pound i recommend those i feel like they cook way better but this is all we have out here well at least that i found so this is what i use you're also going to need aluminum foil consomme you guys are going to see that i use this in almost everything um some salt onion about half of a small onion or like a fourth of a big onion two to three cloves, cloves of garlic these are fairly big so i'm just gonna use two and then your crab pot and then a colander so to start off also i forgot to mention um this is a four pound bag i don't have a scale so i just kind of eyeball it last time i just tried to dump out half the bag so this time i'm going to use the other half of the bag so that's about two pounds so i'm just going through checking the beans taking out any beans that i see are bad or nasty like oops like this one and then also like the rocks where i can't rocks take out any rocks and i forgot to mention i am um putting all the clean ones into my colander so that when i finish taking out all the bad beans I can wash them out, clean them out. Ew. So I finally finished separating um, my good beans and the nasty ones. So obviously you throw these away. important that your beans have enough water if not they'll dry out and they will burn and you obviously don't want that so it's very important that at this point you don't put salt because salt also prevents them from cooking it draws out a lot of moisture so if you add the salt now your beans won't come out as soft now what i'm gonna do is cover my crock pot with some aluminum foil 
this is gonna help uh, keep the heat in and cook your beans really nice okay so once your foils on you put on the lid and then I like to cook mine on high because I'm super impatient and it usually takes about three to four hours for them to cook obviously this will be different for everyone depending on your beans depending on your crock pot so I'm gonna leave it covered like this for probably an hour before I check on the beans so I will see you guys back in one hour okay so it's been about an hour so I'm just gonna open this and give them a mix they're still raw Let it sit and cook for another hour and then check on it again okay so it's been another hour and they are smelling so good so they're almost done cooking but they're not quite there yet I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt and some chicken bouillon. I'm gonna start off with some salt and some chicken bouillon. And I'm gonna mix. gonna taste okay so it's good on salt now I'm gonna close it back up and then check back in about 30 to 45 minutes okay so it's been about 30 minutes and now beans actually look ready ready to be served as a side or you can make frijoles charros refried beans however you like so I brought in an expert panel to no. taste the frijoles. <laughs> oh. Mars, get set, go! What do you think about the food? I made awesome food. Aww. What do you think about the food, Azul? What do you think about that, sir? Mm, food. <laughs> is it better, sir? So that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.